Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I have a new spinner. Uh, I ended up getting a cake spinner because my other one broke so I'm a little bit higher up than I usually am. I've got these blues and greens that I've used before um, in the Montmartre metallic range and then I've got a bit of a sort of bronzy gold colour. It's not actually this one but um, it's got some gold and some bronze in it and then I made this one up to go with it for a bit of a darker blue um, using iridescent white and uh, phalo blue by Amsterdam. So let's get started. Okay so I've got two different color swipe mixes today. Um, if you saw my video a few back where I used these green colors um, and I swiped a soft base. I'm going to be doing that kind of thing again today um, but I'm going to be swiping through the base with my blues and then I'm going to be doing the greens and gold on top. So let's see how that goes. This is my pillow paint. It's the uh, British Paints Walls paint. So let's put a good dollop of that on. Oh, here's a hair. Looking forward to seeing how this one spins out. You can see I covered it with a bit of plastic um, to, to try and keep it clean. I'm never sure about how much pillow paint to use. I haven't done this kind on this size um, canvas. This is a 14 by 14 inch canvas. I'm not putting a huge amount of colours on the top, so I don't want to get the swipe happening. And then spin it out. So I want a reasonable amount to work on. Right, let's torch out those bubbles. So I always give that tin a bit of a shake before I use it. These are my blues, so I've got the Prussian phalo blue. So let's get a really nice bright blue happening. I just hope I've mixed this the same. I was thinking about putting a couple through, so maybe I'll go up here and then come down here with the turquoise. Is that enough? Again, I want it to be soft, but maybe I want it wider this time. I'm putting my white swipe mix on, which is Amsterdam Titanium White and Australian Floetrol. One part paint to three parts pouring medium or flow troll. We can probably go further actually. Alright, here we go. Pretty. 
do really love this soft. This is why I want to do it again. That is my face. All right, now I am going to do black swipe mix and put some greens through. Greens and gold. And I'm going to actually use a bit of the teal in it as well. I mean, not the teal, the turquoise. It kind of will bring the colours together. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try that again. I'm going to take it from probably on top of there. I actually wonder get some bright colours through. wonder if I should do a gold swipe. get some of the actual colors I'm gonna come this way I'm going to use this palette knife and I'm going to put a bit of gold. Actually, I might put gold swipe mix. We'll see how it goes. You never know. I'm loving the turquoise and the lime. some of the lighter blue that's actually not in through any of this. I might take the dark blue.
I'm not sure about this. But maybe when it opens up, it'll be different. But I still love that base pattern. Okay, I'm going to move these out the way. Okay. Do I want to add a little bit more white on to get that off? I'm going to try to keep spinning it. these beautiful I'm just going to spin it a little bit more. I think that's about it. Okay, I'll bring you in for a wet look. I just torched on this dark bit through here and I've kind of burnt it so I'm thinking whether I should just do like a squiggle through it and break that up creates a little bit of an interesting spot through there do I want to add a bit of colour I feel now that I probably need to put it in another spot as well. Mm. No, I don't like that. I need a colour. Maybe the light blue.
Okay, here is the wet result. And um, again, the pale background is absolutely gorgeous. I'm in love with this background. Foreground, I don't like as much this time, I don't think. But I just love the way it blends. And um, I am going to do something, I think, with something different in the foreground next time. Um, I mean, the lacing's nice and crisp. I couldn't work out what to do here. I've got the, the plain lines going through. Here I've got a bit of the, um, this was the gold cell activator that's just formed a few lines. So it'll be interesting to see how that bit turns out. And it's still, it's still a lovely piece, but the background, hmm. I'm gonna have to think, if you guys have got any suggestions about what I could do in the foreground using this kind of background, yeah, let me know in the comments below. But I will bring you back when it's dry. Okay, here it is dry. I'll bring you in a bit closer for this lacing. And I'm looking at the background more so. This through here has got some nice shine. Now, it seems to be more concentrated in that spot and I'm not sure if that's because I swiped with some gold. So maybe that had a bit more shine. And then we've got some more background lacing here. That's just gorgeous. So I think these solid pops of colour gave it a bit of interest otherwise it was looking a bit dark so yeah I'm loving this background swipe technique um, so I will be doing more of that in the future um, but next up I'm creating a Father's Day piece made of resin and it's turned out beautiful so stay tuned for that one yeah I shall see you all in the next one Bye.